Then it's hard to believe, isn't it, that it's been three years since we lost the wonderful Dame Barbara at Windsor. Mm -hmm. Since then, Dame Barbara's husband, Scott Mitchell, has worked tirelessly to keep her legacy alive, doing everything he can to keep the subject of dementia at the forefront of public conversation. And there is one woman who has been with him quite literally every step of the way. Literally. Scott joins us now alongside his partner, Tanya Franks, to tell us why they'll never stop campaigning for a cure. Good morning to two of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for joining Congratulations. us. Congratulations. On your first it's an honour to be here on your first It's day. an honour for us to have you here Absolutely. together, talking about your relationship for the first time openly with everybody, but also about the work that you're still doing for dementia care. And, yeah. Uh, Scott, tell us, I mean, if anybody doesn't know uh, what Bab's Army was and what it is and, and the importance that it's making to that world, just explain a little bit about it. OK, well, Barbara and I started campaigning back in 2019 mm. when we first went to Downing Street to talk about dementia care in general, whether that be funding, whether that be yeah. social care. Um, things went a bit quiet, obviously, for a couple of years after that, because we had the pandemic. pandemic. When Barbara passed, I then contacted the Prime Minister again and said, what's happening? You know, nothing's been happening. Um, long story short, kind of from my side of things is, I'm, I'm really proud to have been a little part of making certain changes with Alzheimer's Research UK who I'm an ambassador for. Mm -hmm. We now have a government-funded Dame Barbara Windsor dementia mission, which I'm just thrilled about as far as her legacy is concerned. That's such an incredible thing. And also, there has been the doubling of dementia research yeah. from 80 million to 160 million, which goes into place this year, actually. Which is amazing, which is that yeah. thing of if you don't give up and you keep going and keep pursuing them, it's such you an make stuff happen. It's such an important subject. Yeah. Uh, it affects so, so many people. You, you know, listen, I'm, I'm living still with the effects of, of Alzheimer's on a family, yeah. which is Tanya. And Tanya, you were, you were part of Bab's Army right from the word go, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I was. So when Barbara and Scott contacted EastEnders, which I was in at the time, yeah. and asked if any of us would want to run for Alzheimer's, it was a natural thing for me to say yes, because my stepfather has advanced Alzheimer's. And, uh, and so, of course, I just jumped at the chance. And uh, it was the most amazing experience. And we've since run three marathons together to raise money. And, and when we said every step of the way, the two of you did, didn't you? You did yeah. every single one of your marathons together. And finished at the and very last the line, second. Right? We crossed yeah. the line at the same second. It's bizarre. Yeah. It's really bizarre. That's happened on so many... Like, and the three marathons and also in a couple of half marathons yeah. that we've done as well. I, I, it's, it, I mean, and clearly it's a, it's a very personal for you as well, your yeah. stepfather yeah. is mm. dealing with it. So you know the importance of support and family Absolutely. in that sort of scenario. Yeah. But of course, something has come out of the grief of you losing mm -hmm. Barbara, and that's this relationship yeah. between the two of you. Yeah. I mean, you've seen each other at your absolute worst, you know, 26 and a bit miles in. But someone did say to me, a friend of mine did say to me, you know, has he seen you without makeup? And I said, well, he's seen me run a marathon, you can't look <laughs> any worse. <laughs> like, right. it's like... But it's not necessarily the first place you think that romance would blossom, Scott, training for a marathon and running a, running a marathon? Absolutely not. I, I think what it was, we did share in common that both of us were being affected by this horrendous disease, mm. the Alzheimer's. And what it did was it forged an incredible friendship yep. for, you know, for the first four years or so. And, and something wonderful came out of it. Exactly the opposite of what dementia is. Dementia mm -hmm. is not positive. It's not kind. It certainly not loving. Away, mm -hmm. Yeah, it? so, so we found the opposite and, you know, thank God, it's a lovely thing. Well, I think also when you lost Barbara, it's, make, it's turned it into a positive somehow when you feel as though there's no hope at all totally and you are absolutely devastated and heartbroken yeah. something positive came out of it that's absolutely right and and you know her memory will always be there I'm, I'm very fortunate i have a partner who doesn't make me feel bad about talking about my mm. my late wife or keeping this memory alive of mm. working together because we're both as equally passionate too, yeah. about it. Yeah. So. And also for me it's I, I, you know I'm in such admiration of what Scott and Barbara achieved with speaking about Alzheimer's that for me I could do nothing but support mm. him in it because it's it's an important aspect to the whole society, not just me personally. It is yeah. sensitive, though, of course, because there's the Barbara Winver effect that we all know. And it's mm. like you, people stop you all the time to tell you their memories. Yeah. 
that tentative step, though, Tanya, when you go from being friends to being romantically involved with mm. somebody who you've, you've fallen in love with, when you know that there is this other part of his life, mm. that must have been something that you considered very carefully. Oh, I, I... I think really it was a, it's a, a natural thing, really, because of the support of the Alzheimer's. It's such something. It's something that you often feel alone in. You can't always express when you are caring for someone that does have Alzheimer's. It's a very difficult situation, and really, it was the connectivity of that yeah. that allowed that support system to grow, and the communication of that. And it's always been important to keep the communication of that mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. for both of us. So. For me, Barbara is as much about the, the, the legacy of, of, of her living with Alzheimer's mm -hmm. as it is me going through it with my stepfather. I also feel that so many people are now touched by this horrible mm. disease and it is a terrible... My grandma had it too. And, and, and it's a terrible thing and I think the more you can kind of be out there and yeah. talking about it as well, you must have so many positive reactions from people too. Defin definitely. I mean, you know, so many people do come up yeah. and talk about it and say thank you for talking about it. Because, you know, it, it's only recently, it's only over the last few years that we are talking about this more openly. It was something that had a real stigma to it. Yes. You know, people didn't Correct. want to talk about relatives that had dementia because they, they might have been a little bit embarrassed about what they might be saying or mm. confusing things. You know, one in two people now, the way we're going, mm. will either be affected directly or they will know someone who is affected directly. I yes. mean, those, those yeah. stats are quite incredible now. And it's something that certainly across the parties and governments has to be a number one priority. Um, we've talked about the Dame Barbara Windsor Dementia yeah. Mission. Tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be meeting West Streeting the right. Shadow Health Secretary. Wow. It's going to be the second meeting that I've had with Labour, a uh, lady called Holly Lynch. Have you got some insight me. on who's going to win the next election? <laughs> 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 I've got, this is the great thing. <laughs> to me, there's That's no fine. preference no. with... Dementia has no boundaries. No. It will take both parties and their families, and when it does, it's a really cruel, as you, as you witnessed. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a very cruel disease. And how much have you managed to raise so far? I mean, you're petitioning all these people to make the change, but how much have you raised so far? Oh, do you know, I've never really counted because we've done the three marathons. Yeah. I, I do quite a bit of stuff behind the scenes with AR UK. Yeah. Kind of pitching to sponsors and everything like that. So I've got no idea. They might know. I He's that, not giving hundreds of thousands. Yeah, it right. is, it's hundreds it's, it's, of thousands. Yeah. Got hey, we're getting to this time of year, though, and uh, I often, and I can't do the marathons anymore because my, my back, sadly, my body can't keep up, but do you, are you getting pangs of not doing the marathon? I know you both said you'd never <laughs> do another one. Are you looking out of the runners got thinking, oh, maybe we've got one more in? Yes. I'm, I'm very jealous, and I've already said mm. that that is it. I'm but not doing I feel there's a but. I, I don't look. There's only one way I could do it, and I'm <laughs> yes. going to set this yeah. bar go on, really high. Go on. Okay. If for next year's marathon, there's someone out there with some excess money or a company that would like to give a million pound mm. to Alzheimer's Research UK, I would do another one more marathon, and I would. Shave my hair off, and you'll shave your hair too. Yeah, no, that's the big one. <laughs> so, that's what I've set the bar so high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your partner, how do you fancy the idea of him with a shaved head? Well, what I was going to say, I mean, you know, it's like I didn't know that there was that going to be that extra addendum Caveat, at the yeah. bottom. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. So, well, look, let's thanks. see if there is somebody watching this morning who maybe they've been affected by Alzheimer's. They're Absolutely. a big company, or you get a big sponsor to find a million pounds. It would all be going to such an extraordinarily important cause as well. Yeah. In, Absolutely. At, 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. We can't do it without research and the money going into no. research. So, and no. we are making ground. Now. Yes, that's Mass the most important. And you're steps. never going to give up. I can see you're going to keep at it. Yeah. I'm passionate about yeah. it. I don't want to see other people go through the latter stages of what I witnessed with Barbara. Yeah. And uh, thank, thank, you. Do thank you for joining thank us. You okay. very much. Great to see you. Thank 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 you. Thank